Hi, hello. So, with respect to this CSAT 2023, yes, even I had said in my previous video, the problems were of bit of tough nature. Yes, that is agreed. But the truth is, the problems were very simple. Most of the problems uh, were of up to 10th standard level, except one or two few problems, it requires 11th, 12th level. And few problems were of 3rd, 4th level. I don't know whether you believe or not. Yes, there were few problems which were of class 3 and class 4 level, right? Fine. <coughs> See, though the problems were of tough nature, that doesn't mean that the standard of problems demanded higher mathematics or anything like that. A practice of high level was demanded, right? Fine. See, I'll illustrate with two problems from CSAT paper 2023. These problems primarily pertain to the syllabus of class 3 and 4. See, the first problem is 3 of the 5 integers P, Q, R, S, T are even and 2 of them are odd, not necessarily in order. Consider the following statement 1 P plus Q plus R minus S minus T is definitely even. Statement 2 2 P plus Q plus 2 R minus S plus T is definitely odd. Which of the above statements is slash R correct? A 1 only, B 2 only, C both 1 and 2, D neither 1 nor 2. Right? See, in class 3 and 4, we have studied about prime numbers, composite numbers, odd numbers, even numbers. That simple logic, that simple magic is going to be used in this problem. See, <coughs> yes, you need to think a lot, but the basic is from class 3, 4 syllabus only, right? P plus Q plus R minus S minus T is definitely even, right? Fine. See, uh, I have displayed here one thumb rule. See, generally odd plus even or odd minus even will give odd number. All other combos will give rise to only the even number. So, that is the key here. See, now you see. We don't know which one is odd, we don't know which one is even and they say it is not in order also. Fine. See, P plus Q plus R minus I am grouping S plus T. I am grouping that into S plus T. Right? Fine. Now, see we can easily check P plus Q plus R. There are three terms. Suppose out of these three, there are two odds and one even that means you will get odd and minus s plus t already one odd gone and here one odd plus one even again you will get odd and odd minus odd even so this is one you can check with another combination also suppose let us say all p q r are even let us say <coughs> in that case again p plus q plus r will be even and minus within bracket S plus T we say. S plus T that is odd plus odd. Odd plus odd is again even. Even minus even, again even. That is all. So, the first statement is definitely sure. Even. Right. Now, let us take up the second statement. 2P plus Q plus 2R minus S plus T is definitely odd. See, here what I am going to do is, I am going to take, take these three terms. 2P, 2R, 2S. See, uh, P, R, S let us say. 2P, 2R, 2S, right? Irrespective of the sign, irrespective of whether it is odd or even, when it is multiplied by 2, it is definitely even. When it is multiplied by 2, it is definitely even. Fine. Then you have remaining Q plus T. Suppose, let us say, Q is odd and T is even, you will get odd. Suppose, if both are odd, you will get even. Suppose if both are even also, you will get even and already you have even number. So that means there is a possibility for this being even number. So 
uh, statement 2 is false, statement 1 is true. This is just class 3 magic and logic, right? Fine. Then, <coughs> next question Consider the following in respect of prime number P and composite number C. Now, 1 P plus C divided by P minus C can be even. 2 2P plus C can be odd. 3 PC can be odd. Which one of the statements given above are correct? A 1 and 2 only, B 2 and 3 only, C 1 and 3 only, D 1, 2 and 3. See again this can be solved very easily. You can take any examples of prime number and composite numbers, right? So, you know, see what is prime number, what is composite number? A number which is divisible by 1 and itself. Tamil la solna na, one alum, tan alum, or bodumian, pahuyan audin solva. Lengla, Tamil la. Okay, fine. So, the all other numbers are composite number. And 0 and 1, they are neither composite, neither nor prime. They are neither composite or nor prime. Right? Fine. So, you take any example, take 3, 5, 8, any example of prime and composite. And you can easily check that is all are true. 1, 2, and 3 all are true. This is very simple. Again, you can just cross check, substitute, and check with simple numbers, right? I don't think I need to solve and show it to you. You can just check it mentally also, right? So, this is that simple. And the saddest part is most of our aspirants have not. Uh, either attempted or uh, attempted uh, with the wrong option, right? They have marked wrong answer, but the problem is not that tough, right? So, see, as far as CSAT is concerned, I always say, go to the exam hall with empty blind mind, first thing. When I say empty blind mind, what does it mean? You do not have any preconception, right? You don't have any kind of formula accumulation or this, that, U, V, D, time, work, no, no, no. Just think logically. Keep your mind free, right? Understand the data given, right? And once you understand the data given, try to figure out as much as possible. If possible, in many cases, if it is a numerical based on numbers, you can do back calculation and back substitution and you can easily eliminate or in this kind of problems what I have shown here, you can uh, verify by substitution also, right. Only thing is you need calm peaceful mind within the examination world that is the first and foremost thing and uh, do not go with loaded mind with all formulas, with all shortcuts, with all tricks, no, just go empty, go blind definitely your mind will work logically well, right. So, that is a simple thing which uh, you should follow as far as CSAT is concerned, right. Wish you all the very best. Thank you.